Hello everyone, in this uh, video I will show you how to increase or make your FPS stable in Battlefield 1. Um, I've got some problems with uh, dropping FPS from about 220, 240 to even 40 FPS in some, uh, uh, some actions. So I found in the internet some, um, some tips how to fix it. And I will show you in this video. So first step you need to do is uh, click the button of Windows, click the settings. Sorry for a Polish version of Windows because I'm Polish and I'm uh, too lazy to change it to English but I will explain everything. Click the privacy, and go down and find the application in the background, click it and disable all of these applications because they are eating your CPU as hell. Close it, go to um, this PC, click uh, this PC again, right button, click properties, click uh, advanced settings of system, advanced system settings, whatever, find the performance, advanced performance, click the settings, unlock all of these or you can keep that uh, font anti-aliasing because you, it will be uh, appear like bad quality of names of uh, icons like Skype, will, Skype, TeamSpeak, 16 will be bad quality named. Go advanced, don't close it, um, check, check that you have programs enabled Go here, go check, uh, go change it, unlock that, mm, and your every every disk you have the main disk you have system, uh, and the other disk um, you can um, for for everyone for everything you can click uh, the value control by the system. I've didn't done that by, because it isn't necessary for me, but for you. Um, might give you some FPS's. Close that, okay, of course uh, click set, click OK, click uh, apply right here and here and it will be window that tells you you need to restart your system, do it. After this uh, go to um, oh, go to settings again, sorry I didn't um, set that before, go to system, this is um, Easy thing, go to supply, power supply, go to additional or um, additional settings, I believe that's called in English. Uh, from the balanced, go to high performance, close it. And the, one of the last things is on your keyboard, find your Windows key and uh, click Windows key with R key. You will see something like this. Uh, write services.msc, click it and you need to find Windows update preloading uh, to memory, I believe it is called in English something like that, and Windows search, and you need to, you need to uh, disable all those three options. Right click, sorry, properties, type of start from the manual to disabled, hit the apply key uh, button, sorry, do with the rest, Close it and the last thing you need to do is open your PC, find your Battlefield 1 folder and uh, you're gonna copy from the description in the video uh, those comments, copy all of them, create a new, new document in uh, Battlefield 1 folder, paste that, you can also if you don't want to display FPS in the right upper corner, you need to delete this first comment. And if you if you done that, if you copy that, uh, copy that, um, click file, save as, name file uh, like user cfg. Dot cfg. Mm, hit the all files. It's very important. Click save. And that's it. For sure, for sure, 
you can also copy that uh, CFG file you have uh, you have saved to another Battlefield One folder. It is located in Documents, Battlefield One Settings, and we have it here. I've copied that because I've done that. I've done that for sure, and that's all. And you need to go to Battlefield One and play whatever you want to check it that FPS are higher or, or, or not. In my case, in the death matches, I've got like um, 240 FPS because I'm using the 144 hz uh, monitor. So I very needed that uh, stable FPS. So this, all options I showed you here gives me about from 100 to 144 fps most of the time it's like 120 fps and it's very smooth it's very smooth for me uh, but uh, the the highest drop i have noticed it was about um, 96 fps but in 99 percent the game won't go below 100 fps for me because i've got uh, pc specs like Intel Core i5-6500 I've got the MSC GTX 1060 with 6GB of RAM of VRAM, video RAM of course and I've got 60, 16GB um, of memory RAM memory so um, it gives me about 100 to 144 FPS on the lowest settings and with the anti-aliasing uh, FXAA I'm not using TAA because uh, FXAA high high setting give me about 10 FPS boost instead of TAA anti-aliasing. So that's all. If you have any questions, write down below. I'll I'll try to answer it. Thank you for the watching, and see ya.